So who likes to waste their money on nothing? Stuff that don't work. Nobody, right? All right, so when I got my first dead bolt, which is this truck here, um, I knew I didn't like the stock shocks. I wanted to do something different. Um, you know, I've seen people put grease in them, this and that. To keep them from being so bouncy, um, I put some of this 20 million weight fluid in them, a couple of them, just to try it out. It's kind of a better option to me than the grease because it's not as nasty. Um, but it's still just gunky and whatever you want to call it. You can see this one has grease in it and that's just nasty. <laughs> I can't handle that. That drives me nuts. Um, so I knew I wanted something different from the stock shocks, but I didn't know where to go from there. So um, I've tried a few options now, so I thought I'd do a little short video on these and try to compare them for somebody that may be in the same boat that I was. I'm not a super tech guy. I don't have a ton of experience with these things. I bought one, loved it, bought another one because the kids basically took it over. Um, and then just went from there. This is my third one I just bought like a week ago. This is my father-in-law's I'm doing some work to. Um, so stock shock is about 37, somewhere in there. Hot racing shock, you don't gain much of anything. It's like a 39. It compresses down to a 30. It's 39 to 30. Here you got, uh, that'll even go down to 27. So that's pretty cool, stock shock, 38 to 27. You actually get a little more uh, movement out of that, I guess. <laughs> the hot racing, I bought those just because they look freaking awesome, right? That's why everybody ends up getting them. Um, and you have some adjustment here with the screw collar. So that's handy. <clears throat> Comes with the two different gauge springs. I don't really use the other gauge spring much. I have a harder, heavier gauge, stiffer spring on the rear of this. Just because that's the way it came, honestly. Um, and it seems to work really well. <laughs> This thing climbs much better than I thought it would. I probably would have bought the Jeep to start with if I'd realized it crawled that well. Everybody said the deadbolt crawled so much better. I mean, either one of them, you can make do what you want. Um, so just really buy what you want and then you can modify it later. Um, you're gonna end up buying two or three of them anyways. So it doesn't really matter what you start with. <laughs> uh, I'm wanting a C10 now and I, I don't need it. Um, this is a stock shock also that I modified with servo screws um, out of the screws out of the case of the servo those four long screws take one of your old broke servos I know you got a bunch a 10 scale servo take it out you got to drill this hole a little bit bigger so the screw will fit through. And then um, you have to grind off the head of the screw for it to fit. At least mine I did. Maybe some of them a little different, but uh, it wouldn't fit down in there. So had to grind that off a bit. And then the spring is a stock spring, a regular stock length spring. Um, and you can just take it and stretch it to make that. It started out, it's actually one of the springs, I think, from my hot racing. Kind of love these things. That's what it started out as. And I just stretched it. It works. You don't really have to have the springs on these things. A lot of people just run full droop anyways. That gives you a longer 
a longer spring at least. Oops. What did I just do? So he's starting at 50. I don't know if y'all can hear these flies. The flies in my garage right now are horrible. I live on a farm. Um, down to 41. Basically 50 to 41. 49 to 41. Something like that. You get it. It gives you a longer spring. Not really much more um, travel because you have the same length here that it can travel. So just a longer spring if you need a longer setup. I had it on here to start with because I laid those back. I stretched this thing out. It's quite a bit longer than the stock truck. So when I stretched it out, my shocks were way too short. Um, so I, I did this. Oh, another heads up on the hot racing. These little rubber seals. Be careful, you will lose them. If you don't mount this right, you definitely will lose them. This goes on the outside, your screw head is here. This goes against the truck, so it pins that rubber in because if you mount it the other way, that rubber's just gonna pop off. And even if you do mount it right, they still wanna come off sometimes. I pulled this off a while ago and I have no idea where the rubber went. Got lucky that I have some extra rubber pieces I found laying around. I don't even know where they came from, but they work. So, heads up on those. I've not been super thrilled with those. They look cool, that's about it. This is off of a Red Cat Sumo. Pretty cool option. I haven't actually mounted this on the truck, but it's basically the same as a Charisma. Um, about 49. Down to 40. And that one's gone. Okay. Um, pretty much the same as the Charisma here. 49 to 40. Charisma is about 50 to 38. So it, you get a little more travel there. A little bit more length. This is a heavier gauge spring. A lot smoother. This is way smoother I was surprised I don't know if you can hear that I don't know I can feel the the grinding in there um, and then there's so much play in the charisma here it's just kind of sucks but they work well um, these are cheap this is not like a high dollar shock so definitely best bet in my opinion um i have a set of aluminum of these coming i'm really hyped about those i can't wait to get those i'll have to update you on them um, I, I think they're going to be awesome this was an option i found this is rc four-wheel drive old man emu shocks they looked cool Come with a couple of different rate of springs. They have a spring inside. That's pretty cool. Um, but I had high, high hopes for these. I paid like $40 for these. So um, I thought they were gonna be really cool. This is where I'm gonna save you some money because at least on first impression, I'm not, probably not even gonna use them. So you can see here, they're a little longer than my hot racing. Uh, there's the spring inside of there. I took the spring out. This one doesn't even have a spring in it. And it still doesn't get that much travel. I guess the main thing is because inside of here, there's a little white spacer, it's about that big, and then a little E-clip like holding it on. So you're losing all of this 
you know, you're up to here probably. Is that a focus? The end of this shaft, it's all the way up into here probably. So you're only getting travel from here to here. So these are about 46 down to 37. I've tried them on a couple different spots here on the truck and you can just see not getting what I want out of them. Um, the hot racing. Those are mounted in the same spot and you get all the way up to where I can get some rubbing. So maybe if I move these back up I'll get a little more into where I want to be. I'm going to play with that and see. Um, there's not a big enough difference. I would pay $40 for these again. <laughs> um, I'm going to move them around and I'll kind of update you on later videos. I just got these and just now mounting them up and was a little surprised with what I got out of it so far. But um, just want to give a few options here because like I said, when I first got into this, I had no clue where to go, what to do. Still don't. But I have a bunch of options here I can give you measurements on, so that works right. Uh, maybe save you a little bit of money. The hot racing, they they look cool. Probably the coolest looking, in my opinion. And if you're wanting to stay around the stock area, they're a great option. I may end up putting them on the Jeep because I don't plan on like doing a ton of that. Um, so I may end up, they may end up there. The Charismas, I'm gonna get another set of these, possibly for this truck. These are normally on here. I have the oil field coming. If they are awesome, I'll just buy them from now on. But in my opinion right now, the Charisma's the best option. Um, so anybody looking at shocks, if you have any questions about any of these, just hit me up. I'll be glad to answer them. Um, I think that's pretty much covers what I've what I've been through with these. Um, going to be doing a tire video, comparing some tires. So if you're looking at tires, definitely check that out. I appreciate everybody that's been watching. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, all that stuff. I'm always doing something with these trucks and plenty of others. Quick update. Maybe don't give up on the old man shocks just yet. I'm gonna run them, see how I like them. I put them on the Jeep and I'm getting some decent flex there. So I'm gonna give them a shot and uh, I'll be able to give a, a better opinion later after I've ran them for a while. Um, right now, I don't think you're gonna get much more travel out of them than you would stocks or the hot racing, but they may be a decent option, um, especially if you, if you like the color. I, I don't. That's the one thing I really don't like about them, but um, worth a shot. So uh, we're going to run those, and I'll update you on those later. But for now, the Charismas, in my opinion, are your best bet for the Flex. Hot racing for looks. Peace.